Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me. Let's do your daily energy check and see what's showing up. Today is Wednesday, August 17th, and it is 4.40 in the morning here in Texas. Okay, let's see what's in your energy today. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Taurus. Wow, that's a good card to start out with. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, that is a good one. King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Justice, Libra energy. And the Ten of Pentacles. There's something really good coming into your energy here. Someone may have a legal matter going on. This is going in your favor. 100%. Big. Bigger than what you realize. Then we have the Two of Wands. The Three of Wands. Okay. Seven of Swords. Nine of Swords. Four of Cups. Hangman. Pisces Energy. You could be dealing with any sign, Taurus. I'm just going to tell you what is significant showing up here. The stronger energy that I see. And the Eight of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Swords. Okay. So let's clarify this. Use these cards. I haven't used these cards in a long time. One more shuffle. I'm picking up a nervous energy. I'm not sure if this is you or someone else. We'll see. There's this nervousness, which is really odd. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Okay, so we have the Moon. Pisces, Cancer. Energy. The Eight of Pentacles. And Judgment. definitely a legal matter here going in someone's favor strong energy here on the bottom of the deck we have nine of pentacles um whether this is a legal matter or it's not <clears throat> there's this strong energy here of something that you're not seeing with the moon you're not seeing it clearly quite yet but there there's you working on something Taurus it's showing up as something materialistic that you're working on and then we have judgment so there's an energy here I feel there's someone here that is a past energy where this energy is coming back around again. Why is the King of Cups here? King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This person feels very isolated. They have a lot of love for you, but there's a lot of conflict around this connection. And it's petty conflict. 
I see here that you'll be receiving a message from this person. I'm not sure what this message is yet. Why is justice here? The world is here. You may work online, Taurus. You may do something online where your words or your work are like going out to the world here. You may be traveling. You might be dealing with a Scorpio. We have the Three of Swords and Death. Scorpio energy. So there's an energy here from your past where there's a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain that is coming to an end. There's The universe is bringing a connection back around again. It's coming back around again. Someone from the past. This could be a family, a blended family. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Some of you are dealing with someone who has Pisces in their chart. Um, this person stays up late at night thinking about you. Um, and I actually believe I picked up on an energy like this a while back for you guys where someone had a dream or a nightmare or something here and this person is wanting to communicate with you they I think I told you they could be at a distance from you but um they're they're wanting to speak the truth speak their mind about something about this connection and then we have the two of wands so this is someone who's been standing here at a crossroads and they're moving energy moving from the two of wands to the three of wands so moving in and energy is moving towards you that has been in a stagnant position where there's been no communication and now I'm seeing this person taking action communication there's something about travel here too this person might tell you they have something that belongs to you um, as a, a way of communication. Like, I feel like this person wants to give you something. Why is the Three of Wands here? See, it's a past energy, the Six of Cups. They think about you, and it's almost like they wait for you, and you never showed up. This person thought they would hear from you, but you never showed up. They never heard from you. This might be a cancer. But there's an energy here from the past that is moving pretty quickly here with the chariot. This person just has to get the sphinxes lined up here in the front of their chariot to make this move okay so then why would we have the seven of swords this question this is um usually some type of um deceiving energy but not always queen of wands the three of pentacles king of swords Strength. This could be a Leo. I feel like this person might be younger than you. There may have been a divorce here. The King of Swords. Um, there's a third party in between the two of you that is reflecting here. 
um, this person could have just been deceptive or sneaky in the past and now they're up in their head about you thinking about you especially at night when they're trying to sleep it's like you're always there why is the nine of swords here strength it's very difficult for this person See, there's um, something that could have something to do with money. There's some type of an attachment. Something about family or money. This could be a Capricorn. Um, this person can't let you go. They're trying, I feel like they tried to let you go, but they can't let you go. There's an obsessive energy here, obsessively thinking about you. Like, um, you're the one. I'm trying to think. I, 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 there's these words I want to use, but I can't think of them right now. It's a song. What if it's you by Reba McIntyre? This person feels like it's you, like you're the only one for them. And then we have the Four of Cups. I think I have the, sorry you guys, I think I have the camera turned up too far okay so let's see what this four of cups see there I'm getting that song what if it's you this person is is not feeling like um, there's anyone else that can come into their life that would be like you. Six of Wands. There's this great admiration for you. You are their sunshine, their happiness. There could be a baby here. Um... You could have cut this person off. There was a tower moment that took place. This could be a Virgo. Um, this is someone, there's a possibility here that there has something to do with an X in this person's energy. Why is the hangman here? Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Magician. See, out of all of the options, you know, this connection ended, I feel like it ended in a tower, it ended in a difficult way, and, um, but there's no other option. There's nothing here that compares to you. The Magician, the Two of Cups. They, they are manifesting this connection. This person is putting so much energy into thinking about you. There, there's a manifestation and this is someone who's willing to fight for this connection. I feel like there's other people that 
would not be happy. Someone here would not be happy. See, now we have the High Priestess and the Nine of Cups. This person keeps their their love for you, their feelings for you. They keep it to themselves. They keep it a secret. But I feel like now they're ready to take this leap of faith and um, stand up for this connection. Whether there's other people here in the background energy that are in conflict with the two of you coming together. This might be an Aries with the Fool. The last card we have is the Eight of Wands. This, there's something here about travel. Someone might be traveling or moving. Two of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. And the Page of Wands. This is someone who's got something to say to you, Taurus. They've been holding back like this with the four of pentacles this card is in reverse for some reason this person's not holding back their love for you any longer they've been closed off they've been holding back communication i'm seeing communication coming in this person's going to come back to you in a different way i feel like when you were with this person, there was some immaturity here in their energy, but now they're coming back to you in a way where they have um, learned a lesson. They're going to look different. They're going to look, they're going to look good. See? This person's coming back. There's a new beginning in love here six of swords like coming right towards this ace of cups this new beginning in love okay so ask a question and we'll see what the angel answer cards say please give Taurus an answer what does Taurus need to know Communicate clearly. Taurus. And be assertive. Communicate clearly and be assertive. Taurus, what do you need to know? And helpful people are showing up. And just one more, Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? The answer is yes. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck, you have no need to worry. All right, Taurus, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and all of your support. And um, I'm going to be flying to Salt Lake today, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting a reading out tonight, like tomorrow morning or not, but um, I probably will be. But if I'm not there, I'll be there the next morning. I'm just going to fly out to Salt Lake to see my sister for a little bit, so... I'll be bringing my tarot and doing readings from her house. But I love you guys, and um, hopefully I will see you tonight. All right, Taurus, namaste.